Fuzzy Bird, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Today, we are moving in to the giant egg, of course, Mount Tamaranch, and hopefully completing the game. We're gonna run into the wind fish and see what he's all about. And yeah, see how that goes. I have completed basically everything I have wanted to do in this game. I wanted to go through the checklist that I could find that shows everything you can do in the game and sort of show you what I have done and what I could do, but I don't currently plan on doing. So first off, obtaining all 20 heart containers. As you can see on the top left, we have all 20 of them. Uh, we've done them throughout the series. Same thing with all 50 secret seashells, which we got the final reward for in the last episode. Find all three fairy bottles, which I have done. Even though I don't have a fairy in this one, I think it'll be okay. Um, obtain the boomerang, which we have right here, and then upgrade our arrow capacity to 60, our bomb capacity to 60, and our magic powder capacity to 40. Uh, collect all 10 figurines in the trendy game, which we have done nine of them. Um, and the 10th one, from what I understand, you cannot do unless you beat the game. So we'll do that either at the end of today's episode or in a bonus episode or something. We'll have to see how that goes. And then after that, collect all stone beaks. We did that in all the dungeons, of course. Uh, collect or complete the color dungeon, which we did in its own episode, complete all 24 chamber dungeons. And this is where it gets a little specific. Of course, the chamber dungeons are referring to, you know, Dompe Shack, which is over this way. That's what the last two episodes have been dedicated to. We did all of the Dompe Shack uh, chambers that will actually get us a reward. Some of them will give us heart containers. Some of them would give us seashells. We did all of those. Every single bonus chamber you can complete, which I think there's about 12 more of them. Uh, yeah, so we've completed 12 of them. There's 12 more left to complete. They all give you 300 rupees as a reward, which I'm just not too interested in because I don't know. I just, I had my fun with it. It's not really, there's nothing new to obtain from them. But if you wanted to complete them for the sake of completing them, you could. Um, after that, um, obtaining all 14 chamber stones, which could be used at Dompe Shack to use, you know, different rooms and stuff. We've gotten most of those. It's just that there are seven in total to buy at the town tool shop. Um, they all cost like 1300 rupees. So you would just have to earn more and more rupees, most likely by doing the uh, Dompe Shack or just by other ways of earning rupees over and over again. I've gotten all the other ones you can find throughout the world normally. The only ones I haven't gotten are the ones you need to buy. And then there are six chambers you can also get by scanning an amiibo, which I <laughs> I don't know if I have an, the right amiibo for them. And once again, I'm not playing Dompe Shack anymore anyways. And then lastly, the one that I definitely will not be able to complete is completing the game without dying. Apparently you get a special ending. Unfortunately, we've died twice, so I can't experience that. But maybe at some point, maybe not, who knows? But I've basically done everything I wanted to, everything that I felt was required, I have completed. So with that being said, we are good to go up this way and complete the game in whatever way that really means. So yeah, just wanted to go through that checklist so that you guys are clear on what I have done, what I haven't, what you might be missing out on, what you're not. Um, and look at this, we got a piece of power. Nothing like a good slice of pizza to pump us up for winning a game. <laughs> okay, so let's move these rocks out of the way. And we've been running by Mount Tamaranch the entire game. It's just right up this way. As you can see, there's a sign. I actually ran up here before and the owl would talk to us. We did that like at the very beginning of the series. It just says Mount Tamaranch and let's go up. Oh man, this is scary. I'm, I'm nervous. I don't know what's gonna happen. What do we do? Yeah, what do we do? Uh. Maybe I have to play Marin's song or something. I actually have no clue cool what we're supposed to do. Oh, you know what? I bet you, where would it be? Memories, owl speech. The windfish sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above. When you play the eight instruments of the sirens in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to lead this island. I mean, we should have all eight of them. Uh, let's make sure, how how embarrassing would it be if I didn't? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah, so maybe I just have to, yeah, I have to play Marin's song. And there are all eight of them. We worked so hard to get all these.
That was quite the jam. I loved it. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like the egg is opening. Oh my gosh. Whoa. I hope it's not all scrambled. Oh, we get to go in. Oh, that's scary. Oh, was our owl friend come, going to come in to say goodbye? The time has come. The wind fish awaits. Enter the egg. Hoot hoot. All right, well, let's do it. I don't even know what's in here. Is it like a boss fight or a dungeon? We're in the wind fish's egg. Oh, this is creepy. Ah, shouldn't have done that. Or maybe I should have? Where am I now? Is this the exit? Uh, no, we're somewhere else now. Am I like properly in a dungeon? Or does this, will this lead back outside? I'm so confused. <laughs> Mr. Owl, help me out. There's enough room for you to head in here. You can give me some guidance, no? So how do I do this? Don't, not that. <laughs> Can't call in from Aaron's help now. Um, I do not know. I mean, obviously, I think I'm supposed to fall down here. I don't see how else I could get across. So, I know I can't go down. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I remember, I'm a dingus. I think the game tells you. The game tells you in the library. I need to go back. I'm not ready for this. Apparently, I'm not ready for this at all. I'm supposed to go back to the library because it should tell me there. Oh well, we'll, we'll go do it now. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to do this. What I'm supposed to do is in the library, I'm pretty sure there's something. With the magnifying glass, that's right, there's this book here. Dark Secrets and Mystery of Koholin. Do you really wanna read it? Round and round the passageways of the egg. And apparently this combo right here is different for every player. So even if you have all eight instruments, you have to complete the trading quest with everybody to be able to get this. So obviously I'm gonna write this down and then we'll be able to solve the mystery of the egg. Okay, so back to it again. Can't believe I forgot that, but also would it really be a Zebra Gamer video if I didn't forget something? <laughs> All right, so what we're supposed to do is go up here and my combination, remember this is different for every game, so if you're following along, uh, make sure you go and do that too so you can get your combination, but mine was right, and then up three times, so one, and there's no enemies along the way or anything. Two, three, does that count? One, two, I I don't know, maybe I think I have to go one more time, there we go. Uh, and then left, and then up three times. So, one, I might have messed it up, to be honest with you. <laughs> might have won up one more, one too many times before. Okay, can I reset it? Sort of? Okay, let me try again. Yeah, I'm sort of back at the beginning again. One, and then, yeah, I think I won one too many times. One, two, and three, and then one to the left, and then up three times. So I should just be able to continually go up, and that should solve it, right? Oh, there it is, hop in! This is probably not advisable, but it's what we're doing. Whoa. We were born of nightmares. To take over this world, we made the wind fish sleep endlessly. If the wind fish doesn't wake up, this island will never disappear. We would have been the masters of this place. But you had to come here and disrupt our plans. <laughs> you can never defeat us. Let's rumble. Okay, let's rumble. Oh man, it's like our own shadow. Whoa. Ah! It's all of our nightmares come to life. I guess, something like that. Wow. Okay, it's just a slime for right now. He's just bouncing around. Come on, get him. Yeah, what do I do to defeat this guy? I actually don't know. <laughs> I've never, never fought against this guy before. Maybe I have to use like the magic powder or something. Uh, oh, oh, that actually worked. Okay. That's actually doing something. Come on, get him again. There we go. Powder him up a little bit. Now can I slice him? Whoa. Come on, keep getting him. He's turning into something else. Whoa, is this? It looks like Aghanim. 
I think I have to hit him with something else. Let's try. That didn't work. I mean, maybe I just have to reflect it back. I mean, that didn't work, so no. Okay, ready? Huh. Um, I'll try the boomerang, maybe. Boomerang didn't work. Maybe it's just the powder again. Maybe I'm just mistaking this. Nope, definitely not the powder. Oh, this is weird. Um, what have I not tried? I haven't tried the hookshot. Hookshot doesn't work. Uh, I have to slice it, don't I? I have to smack it back. That's the problem. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I figured it out. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm starting to remember ragging them a little bit from a Link to the Past. So it really is like Link's nightmares, what he has dealt with in the past, what he has fought against. All right, so yeah, I can shield that one. That actually still hurt us, though. That's not good. Okay, please hit me with something that's not that. Oh, come on. That was lame. So this one's probably going to be... Actually wasn't, okay. Okay, this should be plenty of distance so that if it's not the right thing, I can dodge. Yep. Ah, oh, but it was the wrong thing. <laughs> you just, sometimes you don't know. There we go. We got him. Now what? Oh, it's this thing, okay. Does that work? That works pretty well. He takes more than two hits, oh, okay. Calm it down. Had a little too much caffeine, didn't ya? Whoa, whoa, it's Ganon. Uh, what do I do here? Uh, good question. I don't know what to do about these guys. I mean, I can't slice them. Oh boy, uh, I seriously don't know what to do. Uh, can I just attack him? I can't attack him with the sword. Oh, this is scary. Um, arrows don't work. I'm trying to think, what would normally defeat Ganon? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I mean, before, with the Link to the Past, you had to turn all the lights off. It's definitely not that. Um, I'm trying to think here. Um, that doesn't work. Nothing appears to be doing damage to him. Have I tried the hook shot? I honestly don't know what to do here. Hit him with the shovel. <laughs> that might work. It might not. I can't like send these guys back at him in any way. So it has to be like the magic powder or something. Cause that doesn't work. Well, I, I honestly have no clue what to do. I feel like I've used everything. Maybe I just have to charge him? No, that wouldn't make any sense. Okay, use one of the bottles or something. I need to heal. There we go. Um, I might need to do that again though. <laughs> ah, wrong button. I do not know what to do about this. I can't get past him. And I feel like I've used everything. I mean, I could try this again and then maybe just try to Toss at him like that. Definitely does not work. I have no clue what to do, and now he's sort of cornered me. I can't move. Okay, no, I can, I can. I honestly have no clue. I've used everything. I am so confused. It must be that I have to charge him, right? Oh, that did work, okay. I'm in so much trouble though. So charging him was the key. He's gonna send a bunch of fire dudes my way again. He's gonna toss that at me. He's always a good throw with it. It takes up so much of the screen, it's insane. Why, why, why? Oh, come on. Oh, that's tough, that's really tough. Oh, come on, I'm not doing so well right now. I really need that cream, that medicine. Okay, ready? Run away. Oh, it goes right for you, no matter how you move. All right, come on, medicine, help me out. Thank you. Full health restore, right? This boss is tough if you've never fought it before. See, it's not working this time, because it doesn't give me enough time. It's not fair if his weapon takes up half the screen. Oh, uh, no. Come on, come on. Dodge all that. No problem, no problem. He's gonna toss that. 
I'm gonna go, yeah, whatever. Boom, try again. Dang it. <laughs> Is that really my only choice of offense? Ah, oh, that really sinks, I don't like it. But at least now we, oh, come on, know what to do. Ah, uh, that's the lamest thing. Come on, charge him. Ah, oh, it doesn't give you any time. I don't like this. <laughs> I really don't like this. Come on. It's really tough. Like, there's probably some easier way I'm not understanding. At the same time, I don't know. And of course, then he has to dodge. There we go, see, that time it sort of works. There's like a couple of opportunities, but it just, it's tough. Oh boy. There we go, so he's gonna toss this thing as he always does. Oh, come on. It's just, it's weird because the way he throws it and the way it goes around, like, I don't know. I've never been very good with the charging, but mostly because the charging controls can be arguably very clunky. And that time it just doesn't work because it's in the way. That is super duper frustrating. Come on, how many times am I gonna have to hit him like this? I have no clue. Oh boy. So go ahead and throw your thing again. And I can't like smack it back. Okay, this time we got him! Oh my gosh! But what's next? That's what I'm afraid to see because, oh no, leave me alone, leave me alone. What do I do, what do I do? Come on, you can't just like toss all this stuff at me. Okay, that worked. Which is good because I have no health left. Ah, I'm scared. Okay, got him. How many times is he gonna keep going for me? Is that it, did we do it? Please tell me we did it, no. Wait, is he gone? Oh no, what do we do now? I don't know, I've not seen any of this. I don't know what to do. Uh, everything has its own answer, it seems. Okay, I need to jump over these. Okay, Um, I have one hit left. Can we survive? Most likely not, nope. Everything had its own like little puzzle to solve. I guess I get to try again. I didn't say before doing this, so I don't know where it's gonna start me, but uh, I think I should be fine. Yeah, I just start back at the windfish's egg. I don't like how I don't get my, my stuff back. That's sort of uncool. I don't know when the last time I saved is. Oh man. Uh, so I guess I'm going in without some of that. That's sort of a shame. Whoa, got really lucky with that one. That was really fortunate. I wish that would happen more often. Okay, oh oh gosh, I forgot about this. So I don't have any fairy bottles this time, by the way. I'm going to have to just sort of survive, and then I also, I got more medicine now. Um, so I need this fire rod. Okay, so we know what to do about this. Is every time he attacks us, hit him back. Okay, so we can't hit him multiple times though. But I might just be able to immediately get rid of him the moment he pops up, which is great. Because you can just use this an indefinite amount of time, which is fantastic. So this is where I'm a little confused about what happens next, right? This pops up. I guess I could try, no, 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 I need this. Um, but I know for a fact that like, because I don't remember, I feel like this was sort of a boss we had dealt with. Okay, so he's gonna open his eyes. I hit him a couple of times, it's something. And then we just jump over these again. So it's not the most complicated thing in the world. We can at least handle it. Whoop. Sort of. <laughs> there we go. How many hits do we have to do is the question. One, two, three. Ah, oh, that was only two. Oop. Can I hit him with the sword though? I mean, I guess if I time it correctly, I only need to do one jump there. But anyways, we got him. What is next? This island is going to disappear. Our world is going to disappear. Our world. Our world. Oh no. Well, we got rid of him. That's good. I can't believe it, is that really it? Did we do it? <laughs> Link, you have beaten all of the nightmares. Climb the stairs before you. Wow, okay. It took some effort, but we beat him. Whoa, oh this is so cool. It's a staircase in the sky. Ominously quiet. Oh hey buddy. <laughs> I was secretly the windfish the whole time. Hoot. Young lad, I mean Link, the hero. You have defeated the nightmares. 
You have proven your wisdom, courage, and power. As part of the Windfish's spirit, I am the guardian of his dream world. But one day, the nightmares entered the dream and began wreaking havoc. Then you, Link, came to rescue this island. I have always trusted in your courage. I knew that you could turn back the nightmares. Thank you, Link. My work is done. The windfish will wake soon. Goodbye. Hoot. All right, well, thank you for all of your help. Couldn't have done it without your guidance. Whoa. It's the windfish. You have such tiny wings, I love it. Oh, you are cool but creepy at the same time. You're so bedazzled. I am the windfish. Long has been my slumber. In my dreams, an egg appeared. It was surrounded by an island with people, animals, an entire world. So are we in your dream or are we in my in Link's dream? I don't understand. But verily, it be the nature of dreams to end. When I dost awaken, Geholent will be gone. Only the memory of this dreamland will exist in the wa waking world. Someday, thou may recall this island. That memory makes the dream world real. Come, Link. Let us awaken, together. Play the eight instruments. Play the song of awakening. All right, let's play them. So with this, we are awaking from the dream, but also saying goodbye to Koholan Island. All oh, that makes me so sad. All the chain chomps are out playing. I'm really gonna miss this place. Oh, there, <laughs> there's Terran. He found another mushroom. Oh, great. And Marin singing. Oh my gosh, it's been such a heart-touching adventure. It's so sad to see it all go away. And as if it was never there at all, it fades. But as the windfish said, as long as it's in our memory, it will always be real. Whoa, where are we going? We didn't have our swim trunks on. This is not good. So are we waking up? Whoa, here we go. It's back to like the opening cutscene kind of thing. Oh no, our ship has been destroyed. From the big storm from the very beginning. That's Marin's song. Wake up, Link. Oh, he doesn't have much of a boat anymore, the poor guy. Oh, he's so sad. But he can still hear it because it's a part of his memory. Wow, what's this? Watch out for the giant egg. Oh no, it's actually, is it the, whoa. I think it's the windfish, yeah. Aww. That's so cute. Well, that was quite the wonderful adventure. I don't know what Link's gonna do now. I guess he just has to <laughs> float to the next real island. That one he had to dream of, but man, what a wonderful game. I loved it back on the Game Boy Color. Ah, oh, there he is, he's flying around. But I loved it here on the Nintendo Switch as well. I've been waiting all year to play this and it was such a fun time. And I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me throughout the entire thing. Like I said at the beginning of this episode, we got basically everything in the game I wanted completed. There was only really one more thing and that was getting the final little chain chomp uh, Bow Wow costume that you, or not costume, statue that you just can't get until you beat the game. But yeah, that was really cool. And I think it has 
Probably one of the strongest messages in a Zelda game. I mean, obviously I haven't played them all, so I can't say definitively, but from the, the ones I've played, you know, a lot of them are just be the hero, go and save the princess. But in this one, there is no princess Zelda. In reality, Link isn't saving anybody but himself. Uh, and that to me is just so interesting. And the idea that just, you know, this idea about memories and dreams that nothing is really gone until it's forgotten. So your memories make these kind of things real. These dreams, these worlds are all inside of your active memory and that's what makes them real. And that's just, that's a really beautiful thing. And it is sort of a bittersweet thing though because he does have to say goodbye to Marin and Terran, all the other villagers. And that's just, you know, to move forward, sometimes you do have to leave things behind. And Link does because he's passed out in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> So he has to wake up sooner or later. But that's also another cool thing. As far as I understand, this is supposed to be like a full sequel to A Link to the Past. I mean, who knows where he's sailing? I don't know if there's actually a direct sequel to this game that sort of explains where he was sailing to, but I guess it's a little bit arbitrary. It doesn't really matter too much in that context. But man, this was fantastic. I absolutely love how they did the art style with this. And I really hope that we see other classic games like this, both in Zelda, Mario, Kirby, remastered in this way. I feel like it would be really cool to see. Uh, but I'm just really excited to see the future of Zelda games as well, because of course, we have been playing more and more Zelda games as of late. Back in 2017, we started our Breath of the Wild adventure. Uh, earlier this year, Cadence of Hy Hyrule released, and I played through that all the way. That was a ton of fun. You guys joined me for that. Uh, we played Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. Uh, right before this series started, I actually played through The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo to prepare for the series. So if you haven't checked that out and you want to see the game that came before this, definitely watch that series. But they have confirmed earlier this year that Breath of the Wild sequel is in development, and whenever that happens, you bet I'll be playing it and any other Zelda adventure that might pop up along the way. I'm really excited to see, and maybe we'll play some other older ones soon too. So there's plenty of awesome stuff, but either way, I do want to thank you guys for a wonderful 2019 so far. The end. <laughs> it has been such a blast playing all these new games and old games, you know, Zelda or not, I always appreciate that you guys are willing to join the adventure with me. Uh, so yeah, with that done, of course I want to save my cleared game. So the thing is, is that I don't have like a star on my profile, so I really don't know if the Bow Wow statue will work. I think that like, from what I read, oh, is this like a new game plus kind of thing? No, 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 I don't think so. Um, oh no, there is, is he on the top left? It has a little uh, star. So if I start this and I go back, not to here, of course, but I think that I need this, of course. We'll go back to town and there should be a new statue. At least that's what I've read. We'll check now if it's there, then awesome. If not, then maybe I'll save it for a bonus episode or something like that. I don't really know. But we'll get to find out. And if so, that'll be basically everything I wanted to complete and done. <laughs> and that'll be awesome. So let's move all that out of the way and just go right down here to the uh, little thing. I'm gonna miss this game. It's just, it's too cute to be finished, you know? Uh, I wish it would just go on forever. So is it in here? It is, awesome! So let's play our trendy game. Yep, 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 10 rupees, we have more than enough. Uh, oh, it's gonna be tough, this will not be easy, but it's Bow Wow, we gotta go for it. I'm going to say that about here should be good. Looks like it. Come on, come on, come on, right now, right now, right now! Yeah, okay, could we really get first try on this? Could we really get first try on this? Come on! There it is, I can't believe it. That's very fortunate. Nope, no challenge again. Leave it like that. We will grab our little statue. Awesome, <laughs> yeah. You got a bow up figure. It's really realistic. You got a good eye and steady hand and in here, well actually study hoof, but thank you. In here, that makes you a champ and here's a lump of rock to prove it. I think it's called a chamber stone. So I guess there was another chamber stone here by getting all this. Interesting. Uh, and listen, no champ plays more than five rupees uh, go in my establishment. So I guess that means we really have gotten everything. And because of that, we get, like you said there, the chamber stone and also half off on the trendy game. The only unfortunate thing is that there really isn't too much more to actually collect. So let's go ahead and deliver the statue. I think it goes into the Bow Wow house. I'm sorry, dog. Let's find out. Uh, yep, right here. Is this a stand for something? It says Bow Wow. Yep, place the Bow Wow figure here, of course. 
And if we read it, it's a Bow Wow figure, guaranteed to stay perfectly still. I hope. Okay, well it seems like that's about it for that. And that means we're totally done with the game at this point. There's one more thing I have not done that I wanted to do. Now usually almost everybody who plays this game normally on their own just sort of discover this. I definitely did when I was younger. I never did it because I always feel bad doing it, but if you go into the shop, you may have noticed that if I pick something up, actually maybe I should save the game real fast. <laughs> save the game real quick. Uh, you'll see why. But say I want these bombs. A little pricey, 10 rupees. Uh, he will look at me as you can see. But if I can, oh, uh, hey, you stop, you gotta pay, put it back. But hey, as you can see, he's a little slow. So maybe if I can just get him to be a bit confused, I can maybe take this from him. Sooner or later, I'll have to keep trying. Maybe I should try with something more expensive. <laughs> like this, 1,280 rupees each. Aha, there we go, I sort of have to hide in the corner a little bit. Guess what, you got it for free. Are you proud of yourself? <laughs> I felt so bad the first time I read that message. But hey, what if I feel bad about my deed? I wanna go and return it, or maybe I just wanna go and see if I can't steal more stuff? I wasn't kidding when I said pay. Now you'll pay the ultimate price. Oh no, <laughs> he's the real final boss. Oh my gosh. Oh, and he just like, he zaps down all of your health. There's nothing you can do about it. That is some powerful magic. He's so happy afterwards too, it's evil. Game over. <laughs> All right, well, we'll try. I should start from my save point again or something like that. Um, don't steal from him. Not only is it wrong, but he'll make you pay for it. That's so funny. And when you think about it, when you think about it in the context that this is all just Link's dream, you can almost imagine that's his conscious making him feel guilty for what he just did. <laughs> something like that. But anyways, that was a lot of fun. That's really everything I have in the game. Wait, thief, what? I forgot it did that. It renames your character. <laughs> it renames it to thief. Someday you will leave this island. I just know it in my heart. Oh my gosh, that is so weird. I totally forgot it did that. Like, so right now it says Link, but if I were to save the game, I'm gonna save it in spot two maybe? Will it say thief? It won't. Um, weird, I don't know how that works. But yeah, everybody will call you thief now. <laughs> so just, wait, what were the, were there always two dogs? I didn't know there were two dogs. I thought there was only one. Well, you learned something. Three dogs! You learned something new every day! <laughs> With that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Before you go, be sure to comment Windfish Zebra so now you've watched the end of the you are a Zebratastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.